Good morning, Hank. It's Wednesday. As you know, sometimes a nerd fighter meets another nerd fighter and they fall in nerd fighter like. Well, today I present you with four stories of nerd love in all its many splendors. Let's begin with Phil and TJ. Hank, you may remember that a couple years ago I was part of a nerd fighter marriage proposal. Nerd fighter flashback. Is Phil there with you, by the way? Yes, he is. Will you marry him? So Hank, update, not only are Phil and TJ happily married, they are expecting their first child! Huzzah! Whoa, 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 whoa! It looks like I got so excited about Phil and TJ's baby that I had an accident. And now I am seated in a pool of cheap champagne. What's new? Anyway, Hank, TJ has one of the funniest blogs on the entire internet chronicling this pregnancy with helpful diagrams of her fetus eating its feet and stuff. Check it out, Hank, link in the doobly-doo, although I should note that that blog does contain frank language. I mean, to be fair, it's possible to be pregnant without cursing, but it's definitely not advisable. Story number two, Connor and Amy. God, there is a lot of champagne in my pants right now. Okay, Hank, a boy and his Air Force bear go into the woods. Hold on. Yeah, I thought that sentence might be unprecedented. So a boy and his Air Force bear go into the woods and they ask Amy to homecoming. Then the boy submits the picture to FBI yeah, Nerd Fighters. They run it and a few days later she responds, Dear Connor, homecoming sounds beautiful. I'll paint my nails electric blue in honor of Alaska. God, Hank, it's so cute. I can hardly bear it. Get it? Bear it? Because of the bear? I'm drunk, aren't I? I'm drunk because there's champagne in my chair that's traveled into my pants that's then gone through my skin and into my body. I'm not a scientist, but I believe that's called osmosis. Anyway, Hank, they did go to homecoming, but you know, that was six months ago, which in Nerdfighter like is a long time, and we all know that every relationship ends, you know, either breakup, divorce, or death. So the update is, they're still together! Yes! Story three, my face plus your torso equals Nerdfighter like. So Hank, I recently got an email from Janice pictured here in which she told me that she was wearing her Pizza John shirt in her elementary statistics class because, you know, what else are you going to wear to elementary statistics? And this boy Andrew walked up to her and said, are you a nerd fighter? And she said, no, I just love pizza and men with creeper mustaches. No, she said, yes. She said, yes, I'm a nerd fighter. And then he was like, I'm on my way to a gas meeting, the gaming and anime society. Perhaps you'd like to join me. And of course she said yes, and now they're in Nerdfighter like. Huzzah! Gas, the Gaming and Anime Society. Couldn't you have called it the Society for Anime and Gaming? SAG? Story for the boy from the bookstore. Okay, Hank, so a few weeks ago, a Nerdfighter is in a Barnes & Noble in Bel Air, Maryland. She gets to talking to a cute boy, and it turns out that they are both Nerdfighters, but then they go their separate ways without exchanging any kind of contact information. And then this girl writes us and says, can you please help me track down my Nerdfighter crush? So listen up, if you are five foot seven, you have brown hair and blue eyes and you were recently in the Bel Air, Maryland, Barnes & Noble talking to a girl about nerd fighting? Let us know. Hank, those are my stories of nerd love. I hope they make you as happy as they made me. Three other things. First, this shiny little number, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, just came out in paperback yesterday. If you want to buy it, there's a link to do so in the doobly-doo. Secondly, nerd fighters, do you have any nerd fighter like stories? If so, leave them in comments. And finally, Hank, your videos about Haiti continue to be an inspiration to me and to all of Nerdfighteria. To thank you, I have made a $300 gift to water.org. Nerd fighters, if you would like to join me in giving and and following our community in Haiti, check out the link in the doobly-doo. It occurs to me there are a lot of links in the doobly-doo today, but they're all good ones. Hank, I'm gonna go change pants. I'll see you on Friday.